We're talking about homemade red beans and rice. We're starting a new series called No Griddle Needed. Welcome to our new series. Here we go. Really quick introduction because you guys will start a new series. It's going to kind of be like splintered in and out of the fall, going through the spring before we start gearing up for griddle season. We do know that people put away their griddles. We get the, the feedback and all that stuff from you guys. We also know that people reached out and said, hey, what about making this? What about making that? My first response is that's not necessarily a griddle recipe. That You would never use a griddle for that. So lo and behold, we're going to start a series called No Griddle Needed. You guys have trusted me this far. We've got this far together as a community. So why not branch out and cook some of the stuff that I absolutely love. Today, we're starting with red beans and rice. It is probably on my route, uh, Mount Rushmore of things that I love. I absolutely love red beans and rice. There are also other ideas out there that we have that we don't need a griddle for, but we can teach you tips, technique, uh, techniques to help you guys be a better cook, not just on the griddle, but just enjoy the outdoors and make better food for your family. The idea of the outdoor cooking is the same thing you're gonna be able to replicate inside your house. I just enjoy being outside. Uh, my kids are not necessarily set up for the world's greatest photography or filming. So we like to cook outside and I'm enjoying it. So the recipes that we'll be making here are definitely the recipes you can make inside, especially when that temperature shop's dropping. With that being said, first things first, like I said, we're doing red beans and rice and I'm telling you, I'm already slobbing at the mouth. My boy, Jason, you guys might know him as the Cajun Ninja. We talk often on the phone. He's become a really good friend. I am actually going to copycat a majority of his recipe. We've got it here, red beans and sausage. I'm going to double the recipe, but the recipe you guys get will be the single recipe. Yes, I'm doubling it because I don't need to make it often. And when I do, I'm chowing down. So uh, I'll make my twist on it. I've got a little, uh, what I call Appalachian style twist. Don't at me too bad. I like to infuse the different cultures. You guys will see at the end. So the pot was very important. There's different brands out there. I'll raise it up for you. This is the original. This is from Wagner. Uh, Maglite is another popular brand. I had this given to me to make this recipe only, and I was super excited for it because growing up, we had these pans as well. What I did not know is it would not work on my induction style burner. So lo and behold, we have another pot. Just know, Louisiana, I was looking out for you. I had the pot ready to go, but it won't work. So we got to move on from that. When it comes to sausage, you guys might have a bigger selection of what we do. I definitely want to try the Cajun style on Dewey sausage. We got some smoked sausage and we found this type of sausage here. So what I'm going to do is take this whole thing of sausage since it's the on Dewey style and I'm going to do half and half to put inside the rest of the half of these two. We can grill and serve on the side do whatever we need to do. So let's get these sausages prepped. I have three types of smoked sausage cut up. I've also went in and prepped my vegetables. Now that you see the vessels prepped and the sausage prepped, we're gonna start like this. So I cut it in medallions. I also cut it like little quarters because I like the, the texture and I wanna render a lot of that fat out as possible. So in the pot it goes. While we're talking about things that I thought of to make this recipe, I went all out and found the Camellia red, uh, red kidney beans. Um, if you don't, or if you can't find these, obviously do what you can. Um, as much as a fan of red beans and rice as I am, I love Popeye's chicken. Red beans and rice or spicy chicken and a biscuit all on board. So I actually thought before I did down this rabbit hole that people maybe took pinto beans or even refried beans because of my experiences with Popeye. That being said, I know it's not true. It's just an idea that I had. So we're gonna say traditional. I even got the branded beans. This has been soaked overnight. I'm gonna drain these before we put these in the pot. Mm. 
Now that that sausage is cooked, I'm just gonna remove it with like a slotted spoon and keep all that grease in there because that is flavor. Looking at the about amount of grease, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of oil. You can add butter. And now we're gonna saute our vegetables. Bell pepper, onion, celery. For my peeps down south, you guys know it as the Trinity. We're gonna sweat this down for about 25 minutes on like a medium low. If you notice those vegetables, when you start sweating them down, they pick up a lot of that fond on the bottom and that's good. That's that flavor releasing from the sausage. About 15 minutes later, your vegetables should look something like this. Now we're gonna add the garlic and give that about two to three minutes. You don't want your garlic to burn, so make sure you stir often. Get that nice and tender. You smell it right away, right away. I know you're excited about this one, aren't you, babe? Would you get your friend away from me? <laughs> Jeez, they'd do anything to be. stop me from making this. Chicken broth, looking at about eight to 10 cups. Look how clear that is. That's why you like making your own. I'm glad you mentioned that. Because not only did Jason have a fantastic recipe for this, he also has been doing a rotisserie style chicken broth. So he takes the skeletons of a rotisserie chicken after he feeds the family, add your normal things, your bay leaves, your peppercorns, onions, celery, uh, carrots, and makes a stock. I've been doing it for the last two years and it works out fantastic. Look at the difference in the quality. All that gelatinous, way more flavor. You control what goes in it. Not bad at all. Hit those camellia red chili beans. Some bay leaves. One twist I make it, we're gonna do smoked ham hocks instead of the tasso. If you guys aren't familiar, he's come out with a brand new seasoning. It's the mild con. You guys know that my wife doesn't like black pepper, so any type of heat kills her. <laughs> so we're gonna be rocking the mild con today. So we're looking at two tablespoons. Just wanna give that a mix. And now the slow agonizing pain of waiting begins. I'm gonna put a lid on here. It's just gonna help it come up to a boil. We'll let it slow simmer for a few hours and depending on how thick you want it, maybe that last hour to 30 minutes, you can remove the lid and let that uh, moisture escape along with smashing the beans. And we'll add that sausage back into it later. Alrighty, we're roughly two and a half hours in. About 30 minutes ago, I took the lid off, uh, bumped the temp up just a little bit so that uh, moisture could reduce. We got our sausage from earlier, and then we got the beans that I've taken out, let them cool just a little bit. And we're going to mash those up and put those back in there. If you notice, the one thing we did not add besides the Cajun Ninja seasoning was salt or anything like that, because I truly feel like it's a personal preference. I think it's salty enough the way it is. That smoked ham hock has a tons of salt in there to begin with. So it's something you want to balance. We're gonna add that sausage back in there. All that flavor, do not let that go to waste. And then with the beans, simply enough, we're just gonna start mashing. This is what thickens it up somewhat. It aids in the thickening. So we're gonna give this a good go. As you're mashing, when you find them, you can go and take out your bay leaves. Uh, on our other channel, Pellets and Pits, we literally just filmed, um, let's see, like a loaded baked potato soup, but we added some smoker elements in there. We cold smoked the cheese and then we cooked the bacon on the smoker for that more smoked flavor. But the ironic thing is we took an extra potato inside of the potato soup. We took it out when we cooked and then we mashed it up to help thicken it. Same idea, same process as this. But there we go, there's our consistency we're looking for. That right there is what I'm used to right there. I would eat that right there. Yeah, let's that's, taste it. Should we taste it? That's my, well, you ain't got the sausage in there. <laughs> you wanna taste it? Yeah. Let's see what we got going mm, on. Dang. Oh yeah. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Might give Popeyes a run for their money, honey. Look at the consistency we're working with now. So we're gonna let this go for about maybe 20, 30 minutes, warm that sausage back up. We're not gonna let it, because I like mine thick. 
That's a, definitely a personal preference. But that consistency right there is what you call mama about. Mm, 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 mm. While our red beans and rice finish up, this is my Appalachian flair, a little fried okra. The idea of the creamy and the salty and like the, um, the smokiness of the red beans and rice with a little crispiness from like a cornmeal, something on top, that's my play. So a little mustard as a binder. I know what you're thinking, you had me until this point, but trust me, I think it's gonna work. A little cornmeal action. Get that Cajun seasoning in there to season that up. Probably season it when it comes out with it too. what you call speedy fried okra there we, go. we actually use fish fry mix a lot and he actually has a really 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 good fish fry mix i'm out i go through enough of it i almost need to be wholesale with him for it <laughs> but we do fried okra fried vegetables um zucchini squash as a great seasoning to throw something together really quick just make sure it's all broken up individual pieces That time is here. A couple days ago, we filmed crispy garlic rice. So I'm gonna use that as my bed. Look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. That is a pot for one. <laughs> you got the sausages, three different types of sausage. I know what you're thinking, don't mess it up. I'm not going to. I'm going to add what I like to add. I just thought the crispiness of the fried okra. Just like that. Can't eat without some green onions. And to top it off, I know you guys like your Louisiana style hot sauce. Amen to you. I actually wish I had some of that right now. I think that vinegar would help cut it some. And there we go. There's my take and my twist on red beans and rice. Don't knock it before you try it. I've been absolutely hammering these little fried okras. I just love the crispiness. You got the red beans and rice. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a leftover fan. <laughs> there will be no leftovers. <laughs> you will eat all the leftovers, you should say. Mm -hmm. There will be leftovers, because we made a ton. <laughs> mm. Hang on one second. Let me get that third bite in. The okra sets it over the top. <laughs> that was like five minute fried okra. All right, guys, there you go. So that is our no griddle needed episode number one. We'll do them sporadically throughout. Uh, we're not like abandoning the griddle, nothing like that. I just know from the conversations I've had with you all, you guys want to see more and this is how we can bring it to you. I think it's fantastic. We got plenty more ideas down the road. Hit us up on Instagram, hit us up on Facebook. If you're a member, thank you so much. If not, check that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friend. Peace. Shout out to Big Jason, the Cajun Ninja. You know I think what? your boy might have a little run for his money. <laughs> you know what else doesn't take a griddle? Broad okay. Chocolate creme brulee. We finally <laughs> going to get my chocolate creme brulee. <laughs> 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 I've been asking for three years <laughs> I promise